Hello guys, we continue our journey creating Laravel Checklister and topic of the day is roles and permissions for admin panel. So in our project we will have admin user and regular user, two roles basically. By the way, for those of you who haven't seen the previous videos, Laravel Checklister is a series which is third video now today. When I create a real project for real clients step by step and I see already people joining because I've published the first video just now, an hour ago. So I like that you are reading that doc with me. So at this point we have new Laravel project, we have core UI theme installed and if we use fake filler to register, we have dashboard with routes for now static, hard coded HTML and we will transform that into Laravel routes in this lesson with accessing some menu item only by admin and dashboard for everyone. And by the way, there is a public GitHub repository, which I will link in the description below. So check for the latest changes there. Maybe there are some minor fix, which are not part of these videos. So let's dive into the code. So currently we have our global app blade, partly copied from core UI theme, and we have the sidebar. So let's copy the sidebar and get it into a new separate file with include. So let's create a folder partials. I like to divide the blades into the partials and then sidebar or menu blade, you can call it whatever, but I will call it sidebar blade PHP and paste it here. Good. And now we can include that in the body by doing include partials sidebar like this. PHP storm auto completes some of that for me. And now let's change those hard coded links. So for now we had index HTML here, which we will change into route home. I think it is home. If we go to our web PHP generated by Laravel UI, we have home with name home. Great. So route home with dashboard. We don't need the badge new here. Good. And that one will be available for everyone and it will be redirected by default after registration. Good. Now the components. So this visual part, let's rename that to admin area. So admin, and then it will be an admin area. And for example, let's create a menu item called pages for pages management. Later we will implement how it actually works, but now we will take care of the access of that menu item. So instead of base, we have pages and we don't have drop downs like this. Let's make it more readable to format. The icon, let it be the same. The link should be changed. So instead of just this, we will have route, for example, pages index. For now, it doesn't exist yet, or actually let it be admin.pages.index. And let's create a route group. So route group with middleware of auth. And then inside we'll have all the routes powered by auth. So logged in users, right? And then inside we'll have another route group subgroup for admins. So route group again. But instead of that, we'll have a middleware of admin and we will create that in a minute. And then we'll have a prefix of admin like this middleware. And then inside of that, we'll have route resource pages to pages controller controller, which doesn't exist yet. So let's generate that. We do PHP artisan make controller admin page controller. And then we can assign that to page controller class like this. And inside of that page controller, we have all the methods for managing the pages and probably should have generated that with dash dash resource. Actually, let's try it out again. Let's delete the controller. I'm doing that in almost live coding mode. like this and let's try to do that with dash dash resource. Okay. And now our page controller contains all the methods for typical CRUD. Great. Next step by step, we need to take care of the middleware admin and let's create a middleware PHP artisan make middleware. Let's call it is admin. And then if we go into that is admin, we will add a condition. So if not admin, then we abort with 403. And what will be that condition of is admin? And in here you have a choice whether to go really deep with roles and permissions, 
or make it really simple with a field like is admin in the users table. And there's no right or wrong here. There are multiple ways. I have a separate course on Teachable about roles and permissions. There are packages like Spati permissions for all of that. There are gates and policies, a lot of different options. But for this project, I see it quite simple, whether it's admin or not. So it's totally enough to have if auth user is admin, there will be a field in the users table. So if not admin, then abort 403. That's it. And we need to register that middleware in the kernel file, kernel PHP of app HTTP kernel. In all the route middlewares, we need to assign admin, for example, or let's call it is admin. Is admin with is admin class. And it's automatically added on top by PHP Storm. And then in the web, we use the name of is admin. So now on our sidebar, we have the link to admin pages. And let's see if it actually works. And I didn't break anything. Refresh. I've broken admin pages index not defined. So probably there need to be something like prefix or name actually. I think it's as admin dot from what I remember. Let's try it out again. Yes, I was right. So if you want the prefix to the routes, so it would be admin dot pages dot index, like in this case, like here. So you need to add as admin with a dot. Also, I see, let's take out that arrow. I think it's this one. We don't need drop down. Refresh. Yeah, great. And if we click pages now, we have forbidden because I'm not logged in as administrator. I'm logged in as a simple user. But in fact, we don't even have that is admin field yet. So let's generate that. PHP artisan make migration add is admin to users table. In the migrations is admin to users table. We add table boolean is admin default false. And also we add that to the user model. So user PHP fillable is admin like this. And by default, it doesn't change with the registration. So if you register by default, your admin false and you don't get access to the pages menu item. Let's try to do that again. Of course, we migrate artisan migrate. It's successful. And if we log out now and try to register again with any user, fake filler Chrome extension, we register, we get into the dashboard. Great. But if we click the pages, it's forbidden. That's exactly what we want. Now, how do we generate the admin? And again, there are multiple ways how you can do that. Generally, in the project, there should be one typical admin, like super admin, which I will give to the client, email and password, and they will use that. And to get that admin into the system, of course, you can create it locally manually. For example, PHP Artisan Tinker and do user create like this and then array of name admin and then at the end is admin equals one. Let's try to launch that. Okay, and let's try to log in with admin admin com and some secret password. So we log out now we log in with admin admin com some secret password we are in and then if we click the pages, we don't get forbidden anymore. We haven't actually created the pages page. But as a proof for you, we can open page controller and return, for example, return the text of success. And if we refresh, we see the success. So as administrator, I can access the pages. And if we take a look at the database, refresh, I have a few testing users here is admin is one for my new user, which I've created in artisan tinker. The problem with this approach, however, is that I need to create that user every time I install that project somewhere. So whether I re-migrate it locally or on some testing server, which I will create for the client or on production server or elsewhere. So for those, it's generally useful to create a seeder. So let's create PHP artisan make seeder file user seeder. And we will create one admin user inside. So user seeder. I will actually copy and paste it from here. So user create, paste from Tinker, 
user is not defined, so let's define it with PHP Storm autocomplete. Let's make it more readable like this. So admin, admin, password, and is admin. You should probably generate something like more secret password, but for simplicity, I will leave it this way. And now we need to add that user seeder into the main file of database seeders database here this one so let's delete the factory create and let's have this call user seeder class like this and now if we remigrate the whole database from scratch so we do php artisan migrate fresh which will delete everything that we have so far but so far we have only users so no big deal here and also we add dash dash seed remigrating the database have a user seeder and let's try to log out and log in with or register in fact with any user let's test that that the pages are forbidden great and if we log out we log in with admin admin com some secret password and we access pages and we do have success so in this case as i said is probably the most simple implementation of roles of admin and simple user and in most projects it's actually enough if you have more roles more types of users or more permissions then you get more complicated and deeper final thing we need to take care of is not actually even show the pages or admin area if it's not admin so we secured it from the back end with middleware but on the front end as well it's enough then to have on the sidebar something like if statement if auth user is admin then we show all of that otherwise we don't and if like this refresh and we do see the pages here but if we register with a new user fake filler again we register we don't see anything around admin so that's it for this lesson i will push it to github now so you can enjoy if you have any questions about roles and permissions you can shoot in the comments and actually today i decided about one thing so how to reply to all your comments which i'm getting more and more and i don't have enough time in the day to reply to all of you so i will first prioritize the replies to subscribed people on my comments dashboard on youtube i see an icon if the person is subscribed subscriber to the channel so i will prioritize those and reply to those of you so subscribe to the channel if you get value from here and want to ask questions and want your question answered and also you may support my mission on this channel of daily laravel videos by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen my courses which include actually the course on laravel roles and permissions also we have admin panel generator which would help to generate your core UI much faster. And also we have a live wire kit of 30 components at the moment. And see you guys in the next series, in the next video of the series of Checklister, where we will start building admin panel to manage checklists.